Now let's learn how to implement web sockets. So here I am having a library called WS, which is a Node.js library for web sockets. But this is not what we need. We need this. A library called socket.io which is an improvement over websocket library i mean this library because if you check documentation here let me open this introduction or we can say how it works no this introduction sorry so if you go down we have features and some of the features we don't have in ws it is a simple implementation of websockets so this is why we don't use this so throw it now this has long polling it means this will fall back to http connection in the case websocket connection cannot be established then we have automatic reconnection it means under some condition the websocket connection can be broken between the client and the server and vice versa so that is why we have heartbeat mechanism in socket.io which checks the connection status periodically then we have this packet buffering which means when we disconnect our packet will not be destroyed. It will be buffered and sent to the server or the client upon the connection. Now, if I click how it works, this will tell us that this socket.io engine sorry uses something called engine.io for connection between client and server. Then we have something called a handshake, which is basically the client telling server that we want to have a connection between us. So this is the beginning of the socket connection. Now let me show you how to install socket.io into a Node.js application. By the way, we can use this anywhere, like any language. On server, we have JavaScript, Java, Python, Golang, Rust. And on client, we have browser, WeChat, I don't know what that is. Java, C++, Swift, Dart, Python, .NET, Rust, Kotlin, PHP, all this stuff. And here you will find the documentation of how to integrate. So let me now come to installation and install the server and initialize it. So first of all, let me make a folder here called server. Now let me open terminal and just to cd server. Clear the console first. Now let me initialize a package.json file using npm. It will ask us the name of package. So you can say just server. Uh, version let's say same description a web socket implementation sorry implementation implementation entry point say server dot js no test no no nishant no yes so if you open server now you will see the package json file here let's make a file called server dot js where we will have our server code for this socket i library so to install socket.io, we can just have npm install socket.io. Type it in here and enter. And this will be listed in the package JSON file here. Now we can choose the version as well. Now what we need is to have initialization on our screen. So click this tab. We can have standalone. Now we need to have HTTP server using Node.js. So we can use this thing called create server from HTTP. So if you open server, let's make const, what is it? Create server create server from http which will use the required keyword because it is not a 6 module we are using common js so we can make http so the next thing we need is to have server capital s equals to require what is it the name is socket.io now we need to initialize our server from http as it says here we need to do const http server equals to create server which will store its instance in the http server variable now we need to have this io const io or I can say socket equals to new server and then we can pass this HTTP server in here with a bunch of options that I will add later. So the options are optional. We don't need this. So in some cases we might need them. Now we need to have io dot on sorry not io socket dot on and then pass the event key this connection is called the event key which will tell the socket dot io library that we need a connection so just make it then this will take a callback function and then we can just have socket and just console it now let's make a http connection so we can just do http server dot what is it listen port number 3000 and a callback function as second param or argument to say server is connected we can check if everything that we're doing here is correct mm, yes it is correct so let me now run node server dot j and we will see server is connected this means our server has been connected successfully 
now on the client side let's check close server and open client we have installation so here we need to include a cdn as a script but first let's make a folder called client make a file called index.html so i can just do this and say socket.io client so we can leave the body as it is but we need to add this cdn so just do and click save now the cdn is done we can also use npm for the client let's say in react or angular or something okay we also need to create a client server file so we can say index.js here and include this as well so i can say script src okay src index.js and we are done here now we can run this as a live server here it should open up in the browser now if you come over to index.js file we need to have the address of server which is http localhost 3000 so to add it we can just make something like this const socket equals to io what is it http local localhost 3000 then save the file now this is done what we need is to have socket.on using the connect event key and also we need to have a callback function now here we can do something called data or let's say response and do a console log of response so let's save it and check in the browser what we are getting if i open the browser open the console but we made a mistake here and that was we need to have this script after our cdn because this will load first and then this otherwise we can get some errors that we don't want here we are having this thing and if you now check the console we will see this errors so if i refresh once we will see access to xhtml request at this and this is blocked by course policy so when we get errors like this what we need to do is just go to the server and add course with an origin of this which is the address of our client application save this file refresh this or maybe restart server so let me do this again it is connected and now we are seeing this stuff if you open server.js we are consoling the socket object here and that is what we are having here this event server name all the stuff recovered data connected is true because they're connected and such then we are having handshake headers which includes the host connection accept keyword and this stuff time secure it's not secured because i guess it is not https it's http only now if i open the console on the front end lift me press we will get undefined here because we're not sending anything we're just connecting here to our server now if you come to inspect open the network tab we have a tab here called ws for web sockets just like fetch xhr now let me refresh the page and we can see the initial handshake when we make a connection we have eio transport and sid this is the unique id for one user or a user if you open the socket.io go to the how it works tab we can see this thing that we are having we are having sid we are not specifying ping time interval and timeout that is why it is not here because this is for heartbeat for pinging so this is what we can see here if we are connecting to web sockets now let's send a message from our server to client see how to do that what we need to do is in this socket.on we need to do socket.emit and let's say we use the message event key called message and send some message like hello now if you come to here we can just do socket.on with the same event key which was message that we are having here basically we are creating a room with a message event key and when we have the same event key in the client we can get the message and then a con and then a console log here so we can just do data now if you open the console now we can see hello now we are sending a message from our server to client using this emit function that you can see here this emit now how to send a message from our client to server so in the socket.on we can just do socket.emit again with the event key so let's make it message as well and let's send hello there in the server let me remove this console log and in here we can do socket dot on with that event key that we are using to send data from client to server which is again message so we can just do message and then a console log so we can say data plg data save it and let me run the server again and we can see this thing called hello there which we are sending from the client this message if i do this this will change automatically and let me just do hello there 
आई एम निशान एंड वी कैन सी द मैसेज कमिंग हेयर इन रियल टाइम वेन एवर दिस चेंजेस तो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट वेब सॉकेट फ्रॉम सर्वर एंड फ्रॉम क्लाइंट साइड 